Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock yourself if the Limit Login Attempts plugin has locked you out. Now, there's two ways to do it. There is either deleting the plugin, which is the easy way, or doing a query in the MySQL database, which is the hard way. In this video, I'm going to show you the easy way of doing it, which is deleting the plugin and then reinstalling it afterwards. So the first thing I have to do is lock myself out. I have the default settings set up so after four tries I will be locked out. Just gonna try four times real quick. Okay, so now we're locked out for 20 minutes. You may have this set for a longer time frame. Maybe maybe this after four attempts you're locked out for 24 hours. Which for you, if you have to get into your site and make changes, is really not a good thing. So here is how you unblock yourself. First, you have to either open up your FTP client. In my case, I'm using one called Transmit, which is for a Mac. You can use FileZilla is a free one. It's a great one for Windows that I've used a lot. So you can either use the FTP, an FTP client, or you have to log in through your hosting account and then go to the File Manager. I'm going to show you how to do this via FTP. But if you get into the File Manager, you'll see something very similar. You're going to see the file structure as it is here. And I'm in the uh, wp-phd folder, which is the folder for this website. And the plugin will be found under WP Content, and then Plugins. And it is called Limit Login Attempts. So if we, you actually don't have to delete it, you can actually just add a character to the end of it, which that change then deactivates the plugin in WordPress. And now if we go back to our login page, our block should be cleared. See our block is cleared, the plugin is now off. So it goes back to the regular error message, it doesn't show how many login attempts we have left because we have unlimited login attempts left. So now you're able to log in and you can make the changes that you have to make to your website, but the only drawback is that the login attempts plugin will not be activated while you're in your site because as soon as we change the file name back, we changed it in the FTP, we added a character at the end, as soon as we change that back to, to, uh, to the regular plugin name and then activate the plugin, our block will still be active. So this is, only a, this is a temporary fix just to get you in quickly so you can make the changes you need and then you reactivate the plugin and then once the plugin's reactivated, your lock will, will be carried out as normal. The true fix to unblocking yourself is to use the MySQL database. This video just shows a quick workaround that you can do quickly to get in your site fast. The MySQL one is a bit harder and I recommend that more for advanced users because you're directly in the database and you can cause some serious problems if you do the wrong stuff in there. And that'll be the topic of another video. So in this video, you learned how to use FTP and changing the file name of the plugin or the folder name of the plugin to unblock yourself if the Limit Login Attempts plugin blocks you or locks you out of your site. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Make sure you subscribe, check out our social media and follow us, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.